Welcome back to our channel. With Halloween fast approaching, we thought we would talk about spooky jewellery and the history of insect and morning jewellery. Insect jewellery was partly inspired by the ancient Egyptians. Commonly known as a dung beetle, the scarab is famous for representing existence, development and growth. This wonderful and rare antique scarab beetle pin is fully hallmarked for Birmingham 1913 during the Egyptian revival movement. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922, a hundred years ago this autumn, was a hugely influential time for art, fashion and jewellery. It was in the 1860s that Victorian women first began to wear beetles and other insect motifs on their clothes and accessories, romanticised because of the Industrial Revolution bringing drastic alterations in society and culture. In our collection we have three Victorian bug brooches, a spider, a butterfly and a dragonfly. They were worn by the wearer during the Victorian era as a symbol of good luck. We also have two insect book brooches which are antique style. The first one is a bee brooch featuring two aquamarines and many rose cut diamonds set in silver gilded in 18 karat gold. This piece can either be worn as a brooch or pendant with a bail to the reverse. The second antique style insect brooch features two natural opals and many rose cut diamonds set in silver gilded in 18 karat gold. This piece features moving mechanisms which allows the wings and the head to move to make the insect appear alive. During the Victorian era morning jewellery became popular. When Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, died in 1861, she fell into a long depression. Queen Victoria spent much of the next four decades wearing mourning jewellery. Victorian hair jewellery contained locks of a loved one's hair. Victorians believed that the hair had a sacred quality because it contained something of the essence of the person. It also symbolised immortality. This Georgian snake brooch features a plaited lock of hair behind glass. The snake symbolises eternity and was made 200 years ago. This piece is a real conversation starter. In our morning collection, we also have a pin and a brooch, both from the Georgian era, featuring plaited locks of hair. Hair was also used to make miniature scenes in jewellery. This rare Georgian morning ring features a sepia of an urn and a willow tree with hair work as the leaves, modelled in 9 karat yellow gold. The white enamel suggests the deceased was unmarried. The sepia is cased under a crystal face and surrounded by a halo of garnet. In 
in our collection we have another true piece of history. This rare antique morning ring features the initials SH on a plain oval gold front, hiding a hidden locket compartment and dating to Birmingham 1899. The locket can hold a photo or other small keepsake to keep in memory of a loved one. The last jewellery piece we are going to talk about is the newest addition to our collection. This rare antique Georgian ring features a central locket of woven hair surrounded by a halo of flat cut garnets modelled in 15 karat yellow gold. Garnet is the birthstone for January and the stone celebrates the second anniversary of marriage. Thank you for watching our spooky jewellery video, we hope you've enjoyed watching, please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more antique jewellery content.